Hey guys, welcome back to Dynamo Health. If you're looking forward to becoming a future doctor, then this is the video for you. Today, we're gonna talk about a unique opportunity that both gives you valuable knowledge and experience in medicine, and also puts money in your pocket. You heard that right. Yes, that's awesome. We're gonna talk about an opportunity that allows you to really get ahead when you're on the path toward medicine. Shadowing doctors is one of the best ways to get experience if you're thinking about becoming a medical professional. By shadowing, you get hands-on experience sitting with the doctor during patient encounters. You get to talk to the doctor about their thought process. You get to see exactly what the day-to-day -day life looks like. The only issue, of course, is that shadowing is often unpaid. Now, for some of you guys, that might not be an issue, but for a lot of people, being able to really take shadowing seriously presents a really, really large burden, and it makes it difficult to really, really put in the work and the time to get the benefit out of the experience. Today, I'm gonna tell you how you can flip the script and actually get paid to shadow doctors. The first step to getting paid to shadow doctors is to look for a medical scribing jobs. Medical scribes help with documenting patient encounters, managing electronic health records, and handle some of the paperwork. If you're just standing on the sidelines, you're not in the game. By working as a medical scribe, you are directly next to the physician. Here's how to look for a scribing job. Go online, fire up the Google, and look for companies like Proscribe or Scribe America, or look at your local hospitals and clinics. For me personally, as a young aspiring doctor, I did exactly that. I ended up working for Scribe America, and through that experience, I was able to gain direct access to medical professionals and specifically to doctors who would later provide me strong letters of recommendation. Working directly with those physicians allowed me to see exactly what the day-to-day -day life of a doctor looks like. It allowed me to gain valuable experience in understanding the thought process of, of a physician, understanding the core components of things like a physical examination, really, really diving deep into the thought process of the physician when they're coming up with the differential diagnosis, and of course, sharpening my skills in documentation. Even today, many medical providers will tell you that one of the challenging parts of the job is staying on top of all the documentation. But I'll tell you firsthand, the skills that I developed as a medical scribe to this day have helped me to be a very efficient documenter of the medical record. So that's a skill that I have benefited from in many ways by working as a medical scribe. Now, pay for medical scribes can vary, but it's often, of course, much better than the typical shadowing gig. I did a quick Google search before recording this video and very quickly found numerous opportunities that would be extremely well paid for someone in that particular position in, in the medical journey. Once you've got some scribing experience under your belt, of course, like any other job, you can begin to negotiate for higher pay. Um, having valuable skills makes you a much more valuable employee and your pay reflects that. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how to use this job. Of course, like any job, it's a great money-making opportunity, but you should be using the position of a scribe to not just be a scribe, but to be a sponge. Absorb all that you can. Really, really take the time to understand what's going on. What's the physician's thought process? What are they really, really focusing on when they're seeing each patient? This hands-on experience is incredibly valuable and can lead to greater opportunities down the line. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Once you've got significant experience under your belt working for one of the larger scribe companies, then you can start working as a contractor. Now, working as a medical scribe contractor typically results in a pretty large pay buff. The reason is because you are at this point an experienced asset to the medical team. You are bringing skills that are highly useful and highly, highly valuable. And because of that, as a contractor, you can really negotiate your salary. This not only maximizes your income, but also expands your network. The more doctors and clinics that you work with, the more people you have that you can draw on for strong letters of recommendation and potentially 
uh, leveraging their networks in order to find opportunities as you seek to move your way up the ladder in becoming a physician or other medical professional. When it comes time to apply for medical school, those relationships that you would have built as a medical scribe will come in clutch. Not only will you have people to draw on for strong letters of recommendation, but you'll have a wealth of experience that you can bring with you and describe in your application. It really is the kind of thing that sets you apart. And think about it. A letter of recommendation from a physician to a former medical scribe can speak to your dedication, your work ethic, your skills, really all the things that medical school is looking for. And let's not forget the hands-on skills that you gain. I can tell you that for myself personally, medical scribing all those years ago continues to provide dividends as I maintain very efficient and accurate documentation. These are skills that are going to carry you through the process as you move into the future. So there you have it. How to get paid to shadow doctors and gain incredible experience. First, you start as a scribe for a large company. You work your way up the ladder. Then you transition to contracting. By doing this, you gain valuable experience, knowledge, and potentially a network that you can draw on for strong letters of recommendation as you apply to medical school. This is the kind of thing that's going to give you the edge in your medical career. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Dynamo Health for more tips on your journey in medicine. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's another topic that interests you and you'd like me to talk about in our new series, Future Doctors. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.